Committee review streamlines the candidate review and decision process by keeping all relevant information in one easy-to-find location without having to clone roles or give access to sensitive information. Schools create new committees, use the committee reviewer role to empower individuals, and give them access to the candidate review center. The review center is where these individuals can review candidate details like test scores, applications, recommendations, and other general information important for the review process. Using these details, the reviewer can provide feedback to assist admissions managers with making a decision. Users with the reviewer role are the only ones who can access the Committee Review Center to evaluate candidates that have been assigned to them and provide feedback. Platform managers need to assign this role to users who are doing the reviewing process, as it gives them view-only access to key parts of the candidate record. From Role Security under Core, select Application Roles and then Committee Reviewer. From there, select Members and then Add to apply the role to specific users. First, head to Enrollment Management, Admissions, and then Committee Review. Select Create a Committee to get started with a new review group. Before the new group is created, certain details first need to be added. Under Committee Details, you can activate or deactivate this group, associate it with a specific entering year, or adjust the name. Committee Members is where users with the Committee Reviewer role can be added to the group. Select Add Committee Members to use a search bar. Review Options contains the amount of information that reviewers have when looking at candidates. Your school may want to give access to reviews that have already been submitted to other reviewers, or you may want to leave this option turned off. Something important to note is that reviews can always be viewed by admissions managers. User recommendations are used to create values that can be selected, such as yes, no, or maybe. Recommendation tags can be added by reviewers and narrative reviews add a text field that allows reviewers to write freeform notes. Some commonly used tags are things like academic excellence, leadership potential, community connections, diversity, and much more. Once notifications are enabled, all committee members are notified when new candidates are added and ready for review. It's worth noting that these notifications are set up in a daily digest format. Reviewers only get one notification a day that summarizes all candidates assigned to them. You can also quickly create a committee by copying an existing one. This step makes the annual setup a much faster process than creating a new committee from scratch every year. Use the context menu and select Copy this committee. From there, you can associate it with a new entering year and adjust the name of the committee. When you're ready to assign candidates to your newly made committee, select Candidates for Review. This list provides workflows for adding or removing candidates, reviewing feedback, adding school decisions, reopening a review, and sending official notes. A list of candidates appears based on the filters and sorting used. Select one or more candidates and then Assign Manage Committees to select which committee all selected candidates are applied to. Similar to assigning candidates, select Add Decisions to enter in new information for one or multiple candidates. A new modal window appears for the following information to be entered. Decision Date. This is a required field for when the school made a final decision on the candidate. Decision. The result of the decision, such as declined or accepted, appears here. Publish Date. When the decision appears. Expire Date when the decision no longer appears for the candidate. Candidate decision. This is basically the candidate's decision. Candidate decision date. The date the candidate gave their answer. Attachments. You can add any relevant files here. Comment. This is a text field for adding additional information that isn't covered by the other fields. Entering year and grade. These fields can't be modified and automatically get filled in based on the candidate profile information. Keep in mind that if you're adding a bulk decision for multiple candidates, this becomes a two-step process. Before making a decision, you'll first need to confirm the proper checklist step for each selected candidate, as they have their own individual checklists. 
The final option in the candidates for review list is to compose an official note for as many candidates as needed. Select Compose Official Notes to create a new one to let candidates know about a decision the school has made or communicate important information about the process. Once all elements have been added, we should take a moment to see what everything looks like to an actual committee reviewer. And here's what it looks like. Once information has been submitted, it is then added to the candidate profile and candidates for review list for easy access. When reviewers have provided feedback on a candidate, it'll show here. Under the context menu, select See Review Summary to view all added feedback. Based on what committee details were originally added, admissions managers can see all reviewer recommendations, tags, and narrative reviews from this modal. For more detailed information on committee review, make sure to check out our Help Center documentation. But before you leave, don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date on all of our latest video content. As always, thanks for watching.